Hello you guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Donda's Life and today I wanted to talk about square drills. Specifically placing them, multi-placing, single placing, uh, aligning them properly. Just a couple of tips that I have picked up over the past year and a bit that I've been diamond painting. A lot of you have expressed frustration with properly placing square drills and I am with you there. I struggle with them even to this day. But I have figured out a couple of things that do make it a little bit easier and make it a little bit more successful for me. And I wanted to share them with you. So, turn on my light pad because I am blind as a bat without it. The very first thing or the very first tip, I guess, or the thing that um, makes a big difference for me is having a good tray and by good tray I mean a bigger tray um so this is the one that comes with almost all diamond paintings sometimes you'll get you'll be lucky and you'll get one like this which is a little bit better um, but the thing with this is it's pretty tiny it's pretty wobbly and the ridges are not super deep and of course there's not a lot of space to shake around your drills this one is a little bit better, but not much. Um, drills still, they're a little bit higher, but not much. I'll use this one if I have just a couple that I need to place, um, but I never, I never seem to use these green ones anymore at all. Um, the one that I would swear by, or that I go by, and there are bigger ones than this, but it's something similar to this. Okay, so let's just compare it to to this smaller version of this. Um, if you take a look side to side, quite a bit of a difference in the height and then of course the size. And the ridges on this one are just, they're more pronounced and I don't know if the camera will pick that up, um, but they're quite, quite a bit higher. This one I mean, it's, I, I don't think the camera's going to do it justice so far as the ridges are concerned. But the ability to shake your diamonds around and shimmy them back and forth are, is just there. And what I mean by that is, for example, like this, you can really shake them around and I'm not losing my, my drills. I just put my hand over the end here. Some trays have little stoppers on them. Um, like I said, there are bigger trays in this. There are deeper trays in this. Bigger, deeper, the better, I think, as long as the ridges are good on them. But you have an opportunity to really let your your drills settle, and then you just top them over and you get your lines. So the tray really did make a difference. If there was one thing you could invest in right away, I would say invest in a decently sized tray. Going into the second tip or the thing that I find helps me uh, quite a bit is aligning the drills properly. So again, it has to do with the tray. I'm able to get really nice, good lines, um, quite a few of them. On square drills especially, because they're square, they're, they've got four sides, it doesn't matter what side you pick up, but you do want them all to be kind of flat um, and perpendicular to the line. The round drill, it doesn't matter how you pick it up, but with the square drill, it really does. And so when you're picking it up, you've got the flat edge along a line, you're picking it up in that direction and then moving it to where you want to place it and placing it in that direction. And it just really makes it a lot faster and more efficient if you have your all of your drills lined up. So there's that. Just easy peasy. The next thing that you can try doing if you're having trouble getting your drills to place properly is again keep your alignment, get your lines, um, but try a checkerboard pattern. And I'm sure most of you have heard of, a, of the checkerboard pattern, but if you haven't, it's just going in and placing every second drill and we'll just create a section here uh, to give you an idea of what it is. I mean, just think of a checkerboard. The checkerboard is white and black spaces alternating. Um, so this one would be every second space. You're alternating the spaces that you're placing your drills. And again, if you have the the alignment properly, or sorry, if you have the alignment properly, oh, I don't, what, what am I trying to say? If your drills are properly aligned, when you're picking them up and putting them down, you're gonna get them fairly uh, good to where you want them. 
I'll just go ahead and fill this in really quickly here. And I uh, don't do the checkerboard pattern a lot. I, I do it occasionally if I'm bored or if I just want to do something different. But most of the time I like to multi-place uh, just because it goes a lot faster. But once, so now that you've got the idea how I've checkerboarded it in there, then you just go in and fill it in. And sometimes that helps you to pop your drills in properly. And it actually, once you're filling it in, goes quite quickly. You don't have to be quite as mindful about how you're putting them down when you checkerboard because you've already created that square and uh, naturally your drill is going to go into that square in the right way. So just going to finish filling that in there. But there you go, we have like a, a little section done really quick. I remember when a section like that big would take me an hour. Maybe about like that big? <laughs> now I, I get it done quite a bit faster. Um, checkerboarding can be one way, but uh, it, like I said, it's not my go-to. It's just, it is a tool to help you get your diamonds placed properly. Um, I'm going to try and see if I can create something here. So these aren't exactly spaced right beside each other. And then let's say, so in this case, I don't know if you guys can see that, but my drills, not only are they not laying straight, but they are a little bit of a space apart. So one thing I started doing, and I don't know, sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't, but I'll tell you about it is I, I put my, my pin in between two of the ridges and I go lengthwise and I just like go back and forth. And a lot of times it will bring them a little bit more close together. It's not perfect, but it's better than it was. And then the other tip I have is to move them. So then once you've done that, if you've just picked up and they're just like, you know, crooked, just bounce it up and down instead of back and forth just in between the two lines, there's not much room. But it's enough that you can push against one of the lines to straighten out your line of drills. And then you just go ahead and lay them. Let's see if I can get these to lay. And these are a little bit spaced out. These edge ones I find sometimes can be a real pain in the butt because there's nothing to hold them on. Ay ay ay. Okay, let's try this way. Sometimes also I will like wiggle my pen ever so slightly and then just try to like yank it straight away. Um I do lose a little bit of wax on my drills, but sometimes it's the only way I can get my <laughs> my uh, drills off my pen and these edge ones I don't know what it is it could just be this painting I have a hard time multi-placing these edges so let's just I'm not even picking these up and if you do pick up your drill crooked by the way um, the, the, the thing about square drills is that you have to use more brain cells when you're square doing a square drill painting you just do um, because you have to make sure that that line, that drill is aligned properly. So if you pick it up crooked, just take a moment to align it whichever way you need to, spin your pen, and then put it down. Um, there are tools like this on the market, and it's just a straightener. You can buy the big, big ones that look like wedges. Um, you can buy ones that you can add right onto your pen, and you can use those to straighten out your drills too. Especially with, I find with square drills, um, they can straighten out a line really nicely. It's just how much, um, how anal retentive you are when it comes to your, your drills being straight. Sometimes multi-placing, I have to do it horizontally and it'll work for a while. And then all of a sudden it stops working and it doesn't matter what I do. It doesn't, I can't get them to lay straight or I can't get them to lay at all. And then I'll go back to vertical and that works for a while. Sometimes nothing works. So really, I mean, I think if there was some secret sauce 
on how to properly lay square drills so that they were perfect every time, we'd be shouting the secret at the top of our lungs to everybody, wouldn't we? I know I would be. And the, the trick with bouncing it in between, I'm, I'm making it obvious right now um, to show you guys what I'm doing. But honestly, it's something that I just kind of do. Um, oh gosh, I picked that one up wrong. There we go. Sometimes I can move a couple of them over and add more there to get my full seven if I didn't pick them up properly. But yeah, so I mean, square drills, they're a beast of their own. They're like, they are, they're like adolescent teenagers that are difficult at the best of times. You just want to wring their neck. And I have days that I just don't feel very successful. And then I have days where I just motor along. Um, and the, the tips work really well for me. And I have days that I just can't multi-place for the life of me and I end up single placing. And um, I have days where the multi-placing works like a charm. And I don't even really have to try. Let's see if I can give you another example of like crooked drills. I'm just trying to get a crooked line here. So kind of like in this area here. So there's lots of areas in here where they're, they're not completely straight and you can pick them up and they're all crooked and they're not the right way and you just bounce them. I also find too that um, sometimes when you pick it up and you've picked up a drill and it's hanging off the edge of your uh, pen a bit, that side to side shimmy will a lot of times move it um, so that it's in the pen properly. I can't remember, I think it might have been Christine over at Needle to Needle that said one of her pens, she wasn't able to fit the amount that sh that she should have been able to fit. And I don't know for sure, I don't know what, what her pen was, but I mean that could have been a legitimate thing, but it also just might be um, the way she picked it up. And sometimes if you just shimmy it back and forth, it'll move it into place. And sometimes you have to go in and physically move them no matter what you do. Square drills fit so tightly together that even the slightest little out of place, out of drill being out of place looks worse than it is. But then, I mean, you can see all of the, the spaces as soon as you turn off your light pad which is how you're going to display it, all of a sudden you don't see that. It looks much better. So far as getting my line straight, a tip I have is, let's see, I don't have a lot of, um, I don't have any lines that are kind of out on their own. Maybe this one right here. Uh, I'm just trying to do like a middle line. I'll give you the idea of what I do. So I make sure that they're straight on my pen to start off with and then I start with the top uh, square and I line up I figure out where it's supposed to go so I actually tilt my pen forward so that the, the front or the top is going to touch first and I figure out exactly where I want to place it and then trying to get my hand out of the way here and then I can swivel it back and forth until I figure out exactly when it's straight and lined up with that end piece. And then once you've placed it too, sometimes you can wiggle it a little bit. Um, but that I found really does help with placing my drills straight in a line. It's not so bad once you get into a section where there's other drills placed because then you have guide drills to help you, kind of like I'm doing right now. Uh, those tend to go by really fast unless your drills aren't sticking. I have those days too. Oh, where I just, I can't get two to, to lay or the middle one always wants to pop up. It drives me nuts. But with the drills being aligned on the tray like this, where did that four go? Oh, there it is. <laughs> uh, it's much, much quicker so far as picking up. And I don't find, I find I can go in and and put my pen straight down on top of the row that I want to pick up as opposed to sliding. And I've seen a lot of 
uh, you guys that will just like your drills are all over the place and you'll just whoosh and you'll slide and you'll pick up a line and it's just perfect. I don't know how you do that. I've tried doing that and it doesn't seem to work for me. I can do it a little bit. Um, I can do it if they're, uh, I don't even know how it is. Sometimes it works, I guess, is, is what I'm trying to say, but most of the time it does not. So I prefer to, to go straight down and pick up my drills and then do that little shimmy and then just place my drills if they'll place. And this will be a good example of, oh, there, okay. And then that was a good example of like, I've placed them and they won't stay. They'll, they come off with my pen. So I just take my pen and kind of either slide it this way and hope that the drill beside the ones I'm placing catches it or I can do it this way if I have like some below me or above me or whatever. It doesn't always work. Sometimes I make a bigger mess, um, but that really does, has been helpful um, on days that for some reason my drills just don't want to stick to the painting like that. Three of them didn't want to stick. And now what two of them. <laughs> it's just, and then sometimes you pick up ones beside it and so they are a beast unto themselves uh last tip i have for you is just don't stress this is diamond painting and we all do it because we love doing it and square drills are worth every second you spend on them um, for how they look in my opinion that's just my opinion like i said i am not a pro my knowledge of the diamond painting world is limited I don't know, some of my favorite paintings have been square ones and they just have a completely different look to them. But yeah, the most important thing is to not stress, have fun, know that you're gonna come out of it with something that looks amazing. So that's just some of the tips that I have for square drill placement. It's not gonna work for everybody. Everybody kind of has their own way and what works for me doesn't always work for everybody else and vice versa. But certainly it is your turn now. I would love it if you would share down in the comments below some of your uh, best tips for square drill placement um, or any placement for that matter. And if you liked this video or you like videos like this video about diamond painting and crafting and all that fun stuff, I'd love it if you gave me a thumbs up. And then as well, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, I hope you'll consider subscribing. I would love to have you um, be part of the family. And I think that's where I'm going to leave it. I hope you guys are having a fabulous night. I hope you guys are all staying safe. And I will catch you guys all in the next video. Bye.